Hello and welcome to other the classes where these days we have been talking about assignment problems. Now, this time we are taking up a problem where we will learn how to maximize a given assignment problem. Now, when you go ahead and try to maximize an assignment problem, we have seen in previous lectures that assignment problem assignment algorithm cannot maximize the Hungarian method that we use for assignment cannot maximize a problem. So, first things first. We need to prepare this problem for maximization. First step for maximization problem is converting the profit matrix into loss matrix. So my first step would be convert into loss matrix. My first step would be converting the problem into loss matrix. How do we convert this given problem into loss matrix? Yes. Now students do get a doubt over here, sir, saying that, sir, this is an unbalanced problem. First, we need to balance it. No. Balancing is done in an assignment problem. Right now, when you are trying to maximize it, it is not an assignment problem. Assignment problem is only a problem where we are trying to minimize it. So you should never have a doubt that, sir, should I add an add a dummy activity, uh, dummy source or whatever it is, should I add a dummy row or column right now or should I add the dummy row or column at a later stage? First, we need to prepare this given problem for assign as an assignment problem. This is a maximization problem, assignment, Hungarian method cannot solve a maximization problem. First, I need to convert it into a problem which Hungarian method can solve. And then when we go there, we will check if it is a balanced problem or not. So first thing would be to check if this can be solved or not. It is a maximization, it cannot be solved using Hungarian method. So I'll convert it into loss matrix, then it will be a loss matrix and yes, Hungarian method can minimize the losses. There the assignment process will start. Right now assignment process has not started. Right now I am only reformulating my problem. I'm formulating my profit matrix as a loss matrix. What would that formulation be? We have done this maximization in previous lectures also. So I assume you have seen, gone through those previous lectures where we have converted this profit matrix into loss matrix. The process is to subtract all cell values from the largest value in all cell values. Subtract all cell values from the largest in all cell values. Largest is 12. Nobody beats 12, 12. So largest value is 12. I'll subtract all values from 12. This is the process of converting profit matrix into loss matrix. Subtract all values from 12. So 12 minus 8 would give me a 4, 1, 0, 2, 2 and 3, 2, 2 and 2. And here we will be getting a 0, 4 and 3. Now I've converted profit matrix into loss matrix. Now you can go ahead and minimize this assignment. And when you try to minimize this assignment problem, you see that it is not balanced. You have four rows and only three columns. So we need to balance it. How do we balance it? My first step was convert the given matrix into loss matrix. I've converted the given matrix into loss matrix. Second step would be add dummy row or column to balance the given problem. Add dummy row or column to balance the given problem. In my case, will it be a row or column? I have four rows and three columns. So I'm falling short in columns. So what I'll do is I'll add a dummy, not row, rather I'll add a dummy column. And how do I add a dummy column? Here 
here we have our four rows and now I am having four columns. We have A, B, C and D, P, Q, R and dummy. I have added a dummy column. Now because I am minimizing it, I can go ahead and 4320432012240223 and then dummy will have zero values so second step is balancing it first i converted my given problem i formulated reformulated my problem so that hungarian method could solve it i converted profit into loss matrix now when i go ahead and try to solve it using hungarian method i see that this is not a balanced problem. So I go ahead and balance it. Next step would be, now you have your assignment problem. Next steps would be row reduction and column reduction. Third step is row reduction. If you see, it is already, already row reduced. Whenever you add a dummy column, it already, always gets row reduced. First row has a 0, second row has a 0, third row has a 0, every row has a 0. And in fact, if you go ahead and try to subtract 0 from all, this will be 4 minus 0, 1 minus 0, 3 minus 0, 2 minus 0, 0 minus 0, 4 minus 0. So it will remain same. So whenever you add a dummy column, it is already row reduced. So I can straight away go for column reduction. Column reduction. So, in column reduction, we will select minimum in each column and subtract it from all other values. It looks like we are headed for another degenerate solution, P, Q, R and dummy columns. First column already has a 0, 4, 3, 2 and 0. Second column minimum is 1. Subtract 0, 1, 1, 3. 0, 2, 2, 3. 0. So in column reduction only this column gets touched. Everything else is same. So let us go ahead and make assignments. Unique. None of these can be unique because they are three. None of these can be unique because these are four. This could be unique, but no, it has some zeros in its column uh, row. So none of them is unique. Let us go ahead and look for single zeros. Three zeros, leave them. It is a single zero in its row. Assign it, remove all others. Now it is unique in its row and column. C, no zeros. D. Earlier there were two zeros, but now it is a single zero. So let me make an assignment. Column is as it is single. So we have two assignments in a scan of all rows. Let me scan columns. First column is done. Second column, we have a single zero. Let me assign it. Column wise, it was single. Row wise, I have made it single. Now it is a unique zero. Done. Third column has no zeros. We have made a row scan and column scan. There are no zeros left and we are done with only three assignments. So what do we do? We resolve this degeneracy. Three assignments. So we get three lines to cut all zeros, horizontal or vertical. We select such rows and columns which have maximum zeros. So four zeros cut in only one stroke, another good stroke. Then you can go with either of these, this row or this row. You can go with this. So I have one, Two. You can make any choice. Instead of this column, you could have cut this row also. In operation research, majority of our algorithms are iterative in nature. So if you make a mistake, if you make an error in this step, it gets rectified in next. So long as you are sticking with the basics. So long as you are doing your calculations correctly in the coming iterations. Then your error will get rectified in coming iterations. So you can pick this column or you could have gone with this row also because we had only one zero so you could go with either ways in any case now i have my new matrix i need to transfer these to my new matrix minimum 
minimum is subtracted so i get a 0 0 1 1 and 2 and 2 there is a minus there is a plus and there is equal minus is for uncut cells minus subtract this one will be subtracted from all i have subtracted this one will be added to all inter intersections there is a minus in these cells there is a plus at intersections it is easy to remember plus intersection is a plus and what is added the minimum value making it 5 and 1 5 and 1 then remaining cells are copied 0 0 there is a triple 0 then there is a 3 2 0 for a b c d p q r and dummy let us see if this is our final solution this is our fourth table two zeros leave them you can check if you have any unique zeros two zeros three zeros three zeros these cannot be unique so none of these zeros can be unique this could have been zero a unique zero but then there is someone in its row so it is not a unique as far as single are concerned two 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 each row is having two zeros no single zeros in rows column wise yes i have a single zero i assign it i make it unique single zero in its column there was someone else in its row i have removed it so i have a single zero then there are three zeros leave it single zero go ahead and assign it and make it unique column wise it was single row wise i have made it single done now when we proceed further we see that there are two zeros in this row two zeros in this row two in column two in column this again is a case of multiple optimum solutions multiple optimum solutions this is a case of multiple optimum solutions why because i have two rows and two columns having same number of zeros having more than one zeros rather so you can select either of these what i'll do is i'll replicate this table and we'll see what are the multiple solutions possible how do we see that there are multiple solutions possible how do we come to know when there is a multiple solution possible you go with your priority your priority is unique zero single zero and minimum zeros when you are working with minimum zeros if this kind of deadlock happens that i am not able to resolve it earlier i was having either two zeros or three zeros i selected any of these two zeros but now i have a deadlock everywhere i am having two zeros if this happens then it is a case of multiple optimum solutions this deadlock tells me that it is a case of multiple optimum solutions because i am not able to resolve this deadlock everywhere there are two zeros how do i proceed further this is an indication of multiple optimum solution how multiple optimum solution let me check what i am doing is i am copying this once again p q r and dummy we had a 5001000 Three zero one one two two zero two zero. I've copied the same. If you try to make assignments, row wise everywhere there are two zeros. Column wise here we have a one zero, another one zero. Removing this. Now you have two in this row, two in this row, two in second column, two in fourth column. This deadlock tells me these are multiple optimum solutions. Here. If I take this zero, I remove these two to make it unique. I need to resolve the deadlock. I have resolved this deadlock. You can select any. I have selected this. These two are removed. Because this row should be empty, this column should be empty. There are no zeros in this row and column. It is unique. And this remains a unique zero. This is a unique zero. There are no zeros in its column. There are no zeros in its row. This is a unique. So this is one possibility, one, two, three, and four assignments. Another possibility could have been, if instead of taking this, you had taken this. So I need to make this unique. 
Is it unique? In its column, in its row, it is unique. This would have been left. I would have assigned it over here. So now we have two multiple, two optimum solutions. One is this. Second is this combination. Let me see if this both these both are same or not. Uh, I'll use black pen for this. And I'll make use of red pen for this. Now, this is a solution for your loss matrix. The problem given was this. So always, 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 always we take this solution to our original matrix. I'll take this solution to my original matrix. What is my solution? AR. AR is my solution. BQ is my solution. This is C dummy. There is no dummy over here. We can leave it. DP is my solution. From black, this is my solution. And from red, DP is my solution. CQ is my solution. And AR is my solution. So this is how we are having multiple optimum solutions. Let us see if these are correct or not. For black, what is the solution? It is AQ at 12. AQ at cost of 12. Oh, sorry, AR. It was AR. Sorry, 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 sorry. It is AR at cost of 12. BQ at cost of 10. BQ at cost of 10. Then there is DP at 12. DP at cost of 12, thereby making a total cost of 24 and 10, 34. This is my optimum solution. What about my red optimum solution? Let me check. Red is suggesting me AR, AR at 12. Then B is going with, instead of B, in red we are not having B, in red we are having C. In red we are not having B, rather we are having C, CQ at 10 and DP at 12, thereby making a total cost of 34. There was a dummy column. So either way, someone had to go for dummy. In this case, C has gone to dummy and in this case, B has gone to dummy. So that doesn't really matter so long as I am getting a total cost of 34. Now we can see what do we mean by multiple optimum solutions. This is what we mean by multiple optimum solutions. That there are two combinations that are giving me best solution. Best solution of 34. AR, AR, okay. DP, DP, okay. But for B, Q or you could have gone for C, Q. Both are giving you equally good solutions. So this is a case of multiple optimum solutions and maximization of an unbalanced problem. So we have seen two cases over here. In fact, three. We have maximized an unbalanced problem. There was degeneracy. And finally, I am having multiple optimum solutions. So this is for our discussion right now. Next time when we meet, we'll take up some more problems on assignment. Until we meet next time, do take care. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.